I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa and always wanted to be in one. No fucking way. No, no, no. Look at this. I know some bullshit is about to happen. I'm about to see all the mate. Look, look behind her. No, I see Nagito's there. I see Peko Peko Yamas. I see the tape from Mikan. I see Hiru's camera. No way, but there might be another video. Depends on how long this trial is. It's the longest trial in the game, so I would like to squeeze out every little bit I can. But here we go. Um, it seems like you're on the wrong track. So let me explain. I think this is where Junko picks back up for a little bit. Here we go, man. Here, come, here we go with the the bullshit of the <laughs> sixth trial. It was good. Let's see if he can maintain that goodness. Okay. So first, I'll start with the event that inspired me <clears throat> to plan this killing game. See, like that's that's not Junko. That's like that's Sukumi, right? Like her, like she kind of like you know, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean as hell. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Dude, like, wh who is that? Like Sukumi and Junko? Sh Why are her legs so far apart? She's not even standing on the podium. Did she just start some big story on her own? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> it's about to be a lot of like lore dumping. Here we go. I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's Gopher Project, and my inner Junko told me. Your inner Junko? I mean, your insanity side. Pushing the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope would be the perfect despair. Now there's Terror Terror stuff. Leon's, Mikon's. Look at that Kazuichi's earring. Where's a new V3? took over the killing game I devised. Why you keep switching back and forth like that? I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. Yeah, when she looks like that, she looks normal. Damn, Kareki goes hella tall. And then I took the name Sumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. I thought she said among us. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he <laughs> Why are about to turn into Kokichi? Nope, I had no idea. He was your comrade, right? You better not. It's... <laughs> comrade. Now nah, she looks like but Junko. Doesn't have comrade. Now that looks like her her uh her goodbye to spare sprite perfectly. It's like you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? <laughs> Whose pants are those? Oh, those are uh Kiro Tur Ishimaru Kita, whatever his name is, the dude who turns to Super Saiyan and fucking trigger happy havoc. The are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. Whose panties are those, bro? Flying around, frilly things. But I am despair itself. You cannot do what Junko did. Absolutely not. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. He was. A, he was actually a believer. I thought he was like lying. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? What? Whose tie is that? Loose ass shit. Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. Of course he didn't. Fuck would know her true identity. <laughs> what a hopeless existence. Keep laughing like that. <laughs> Damn, I need that voice actor in my life. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. Those Kyoko. Damn. I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. I'm focused more on the things flying around her than the people here. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors? The outside. I'm watching you on the television. We already know that because it's being There's broadcasted. Oh, there is what? Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. That's a lot. Why are nail about to come off? No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? Exactly. You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? For me? Like what? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. Yeah, it's you're not no perfect reproduction. You look Junko looks a little out of style. A little 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 weight gain. Yo, what? You what? <laughs> I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the We can perfectly Junko. reproduce another thing, even though bro, I like how in her eyes two little details they add. You can see V3. I already mentioned that, but if you look closely it says V3. I, I think that's cool as hell. I can't lie. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. Why oh, she look like that? You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. And that's it. That's why all the trials are so fucking similar, dumbass. Yep, that's it. Yep. Like, okay, you're still a bad there character. Are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. Okay. That is the truth of the ultimate academy killing game. You're so, you're bogus. No, that's wrong. It's wrong. Come on, Sweetie. 
surprised. I am so surprised. She has like shit. No way they got Krekigo Shinguchi's katana. Wait, that's a katana from the first game. Maybe we all remember that Connie there's shirt. no one left out there. <laughs> but how do we know our memories are real? Exactly, it's the flashback lights. What do you mean by that's that? a Junko Sprite. You think your memories are wrong? See, that's a perfect Junko Sprite right there. Why is Gundam... <laughs> they have Gundam's hamsters there too. And there's Sakura... That's been bothering me about our memories. Sakura Ogami's chest. Here, look at this book. All right, where are we going with this? This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. Because she made fake ones, didn't she? What is different? Actually, what is? For certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. Person, <laughs> person, there were fucking Jashahiro Yagakure's fucking hair. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Hey, as long as Himiko, at least like, yeah, I don't want to do all that, thank you. Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's very true, that's very true. I know the lore. Now I do. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Inspiring wars and terrorism. Anime still has some booty cheek characters though, but it would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. Yeah, if mankind looked like that, much more than despair is roaming around. There's no way. All caused by a single high school girl. Junko Enoshima. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. Big ass chest. <laughs> Damn, did her chest get bigger in this game? Enrolled in Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. Nothing will ever stop her sprite from goodbye despair, though. Those big ass. She had that AI, dude, like, boom, boom, like, damn. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans. I plan. Oh, Squeechy has something to say? Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. What is that up? I detect no discrepancy in my memory base. Yeah, well, you're a robot, so let's... Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. Okay, where are we going with this, Sweetie? But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. What's written in Hope's Peak? I'm determining exactly why later. I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play Spot the Difference! Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, okay. They, they, I think I see why people are starting to hate it now because it's breaking the fourth wall like crazy. Okay, I can't. Why does Maki look surprised as hell? Wait, does Junko talk? Thank you. I get the rebuttal Junko this time? History of Hope's Peak. Okay, there's only one bullet. Most awful, most tragic event in human history. Let me get this heart back real quick. There you go. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Inspiring war and terrorism are did it start hope? Yeah, I did. The cause of all that despair. It was Junko and Oshima. Was just a single high school girl. That's true. A student of Hope's Peak Academy. Why should you do that? Ultimate despair, Junko and Oshima. It might be that one. Everything in my power to spread despair over the entire world. Is it really that? That'd be funny. Something about that statement doesn't match with the history. Was the ultimate despair just one person? The biggest, most awful, most history. Yeah, because every time he kept saying which she said that, she would be like, oh, I mean, Sweetie was like, no, that doesn't add up. So it's that one. It, it literally just gives you the answer. That's wrong! That's wrong! One high school girl started the tragedy. The ultimate despair. Junko Inoshima. She started it, but it was what the 16 high school students, the remnants of despair. <laughs> At least that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. What's the book say? Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Inoshima. Well, yeah, her sister Mukuro. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. Yeah, that's like that's the the students she killed before. To put it simply, there's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. Hmm. This is the first time I've heard about this. 
wasn't See, if you didn't watch the anime, you'd be like really confused and I'm like, what the fuck does it even mean? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. She's like, she got so scared she put away all that, that those dumbass cosmetics. She's like, never mind. No TF2. <laughs> that bitch has Nagito's hair floating around. It's like a TF2 cosmetic. What are you going to sell for? 39 cents to the Steam community market? No, it's still coincidence. I know there's a difference in these in these memories. I know too. Now I do. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Well, I need to know those because. Does it even matter? I'm bored already. I'm making that bored. Just shut up. What are you gonna do, kill her? So let's continue where we. She'll left add on. you to her arsenal of uh fucking ensemble of hats. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. Facts. A killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. Okay, was it the 78th? Is that the discrepancy? And forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. Okay. Sweetie's like, no, that's wrong. But boo hoo. When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. Like what? And the world began to move towards restoration. That's not true. Which is an anime thing, kinda. The worst case scenario was avoided! Yay! A happy ending. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Makoto uh, saved them, didn't they? See, you you would have to like have played the game though. A lot of people say, oh, you don't have to play this than this to understand the game. Most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh, that sounds bad. It does. I prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Why is he Nico always wrong? Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They okay. were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. And forced into the camp. <laughs> were they really prisoners? <laughs> they definitely were. Oh, I have some bad news about that. She wet? The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the future foundation are still fighting, but for now. No, 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 no. That's not true. What? They're not fighting. They both existed. Yeah, they did. They're existing, but they're not fighting. The biggest event in human history happened because Junko had prepared countless ways. We played goodbye, though. They're done. Like their stories are wraps. I guess because there's trying to be more remnants of despair. They were helped. I guess I should have let it play out. But now, we've avoided the worst of it. Was it not the 78th class? What's the contradiction? The biggest, most awful, I don't fucking know. They died. I saw that's it. Because Junko had prepared for the spear. Like the killing game of the 78th class of the Academy. See, why does it. Why, I clicked like four times and it like loaded up. <laughs> I, I got that's wrong thank you for uh not shooting the bolt when i clicked like four different times i guess it wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in hope speak oh it was themselves that's what they're it was the class yeah themselves. okay they shut themselves in they really go that deep into it okay that's the stuff i have to look for okay see i knew shut themselves in? i knew but i just i didn't understand how deep they were going into it i mean technically Why junko did trap them in? because they uh because they were the last hope, wasn't there? Or something like that? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy Shelter, Shelter Project. <clears throat> During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. See, you would need to play the other games to know that, though. Because I don't think... Maybe it shows you in, like, the Truth Bullets section that what it says, but just so you would have to play the game to the understand that. the class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying... Our memories are wrong? That's exactly what I'm saying, dumbass. That's exactly what he's been saying. Documents were written all half -assed. Can you stop lying? There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. You're hot. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. <laughs> <sighs> is that so? This girl right here. Just Let's stay as a character. Ball. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. Let's just move. Well, what's the point of this trial now? It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. 
What about Hope's Peak Academy? What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. All right. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. All right. Yeah, it's very slow. Like, I'm clicking and it's not going through. Just like I thought, there's something wrong there. It's like guess Maki's statement. But why? Why are our memories so different? Thank God there's no background yet, otherwise I'd be, <laughs> it'd be difficult to sell. Hold up, hold up, hold up. D does it tell you what the bullets are in this? It kind of does, I guess. Bro, I have to like move my mouse like this. The Hope's Peak Academy did not admit students by application. I guess Makoto. The academy was rebuilt, and with that, Dying Rope Trivia. Talented students resumed. When we found out, I guess we weren't talented we students. The new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same. That's right. We were all students of Hope. Can you just shoot this, please? Fuck. <laughs> I wanted to shoot it. Are you saying I'm wrong? That's exactly what I'm saying. I think I know which one it is, though. I think honestly. He's gonna be the extra heart back. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. I'm pretty sure we weren't talented students. When we found out. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot the next bullet. Just whatever. I'm pretty sure that was the right answer, though. It was a huge school. Wow, it was a huge school? No, it wasn't. I know which one it is. I know which one it is. Hope's Peak Academy was re and with that, because we, we we were on the run from the ultimate hunt, right? Yeah, I knew it. I, I knew that was the right answer. That's wrong. I almost shot the Vivo, but I got scared it was gonna go away again. I didn't want to cut it down. We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented. But students. we didn't have talents, right? But that's not what's written here. The academy did not take applications. Oh, that's what I meant. Their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Because yeah, he was sitting outside with that kid, right? He's like, oh, are you a part of the... I thought he didn't have a talent or something like that, are didn't he? Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? Yes. But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too. That's a lot of mistakes. Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Oh, no, there is. Other what? Another what now? I didn't even know that. I don't mind filling me in. Like, bitch, no. Set up there. The we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. What are you getting at? So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. I mean, Jabberwock Island's kind of like a... Oh, I guess Jabberwock Island, they're referring to the anime, I suppose. They're not referring to the Near War program with Hajime. They're referring to the V3s. What said? Dog in the anime one, I'm pretty sure. Because that, that, that took place on the island, I think. I don't know. This isn't your first killing game. Yeah, there's other killing games. We know that. And Rantaro wasn't a part of any of those. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. That dude was just non-existent. That dude was just here. Not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. It means there's more. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? Fuck if I know. Some random ass I'm not one. Not entirely sure, but <laughs> it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Yeah, it's like Rantar didn't even have an ultimate until after he won the game. Now he's an ultimate survivor. We didn't have ultimates, right? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. She's happy as though we figured it out. Oh, do tell. I'll suck your dick later. <laughs> like, okay, say less. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. I sure as hell don't remember him as anything. Hey, click. I don't think that's true. 
He wasn't a remnant of despair. See, why is it doing this? He wasn't a remnant of despair? No, duh. Obviously not. That's impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. I never thought once he was, but okay. Nice like, plot twist, I suppose. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. But he pulled violent, he pulled like petty pranks. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. What? So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? The proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair is his motive video, right? This yeah. is it! I immediately knew it because I remember we get at it. The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. He pulled petty pranks. There's a new killing too. Yeah. The dice organization, harmless pranks, and he just... He didn't give a fuck. An organization centered around petty crimes. One that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only 10 people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Exactly. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of, is not the remnants of despair. He's part of Dice, right? His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. Where is he going with this, though? The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. He wasn't a remnant of despair? Nope. That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. Of course not. But Anything, it's still not possible. Even if he said it, it would be a fuck ass lie anyway. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. That's why Kaito was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Remnants? Dice? What the hell is that? That dude was confused all trial <laughs> right here. What? Juko? Who's that? Hope despair. That bitch doesn't know what's going on. To know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshi. That's how I knew it was him too. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I'm you. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Hmm? What do you mean? All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback and the, the fact that you can make any flashback like you possibly want is pretty suspicious in itself. So the flashback lights are the cause? Yes. You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? I did. Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. And Juke was just like, he figured it out, like, what? I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. Mass might not think I'd ever get one of these. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. Mm. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot. And there should only be one truth. But then having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. So it's just fake, okay? Where are we going? Did I say booby in then fucking Japanese? Huh? Exactly. The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Then what was it for? What was it for, huh? Huh? Who are you, Kokichi? Huh, huh, huh? Angie? Go on, tell them. What are the Go on, tell them. Monokuma will be the ultimate instigator. What are the flashback lights used for? Why can't you? Why can you select them? And what does it mean if those memories contradict each other? This better not be no fuck. If it's a psych taxi, I'm skipping it. Okay, Hangman's given. It's okay. Anagram for what? What is what is a flashback light? Okay, what, what's a previous word they probably used? I don't fucking know. Oh. 
This is gonna be a little difficult. M. P. N. Amnesia. I've, I've chose like P. I've done down like four hearts. Well, let me actually like think. Like, I have like four minutes, right? The flashlight, like, what it, does what to memories? Erases them? Changes? Tampers? I already select you though. T A M P E R S. It's probably the same word as tampers too. Bro, oh, I've selected every. I've only haven't selected I. I have one heart left. I'm fucked. I'm just gonna take the game over on this. Literally, the only letter on here I have not selected is I. It's gonna be some word they said, I just didn't pay attention. Fuck, man, what's this word? I'm about to get one more heart back so I can have two chances at this. Important? Like, bitch, like, what word am I looking for? I'm about to just choose M next. Give me at least one heart back, please! I'm about to die. This, this, this is why I love this perk, because I, I can get a little extra opportunity before I uh, die. I M P O A N T? Is that it? Bitch, just give me one more heart so I can test this out. I'm, I, after this, I'm just going to accept the loss. I, I promise. I promise. I don't feel like editing out so 15 different things. I should be getting it soon. You fucker. I think it's import. I M P O R A T? I'm wrong as hell on this. Fuck it, I'm just gonna choose it. I don't give a fuck. Where's an M? Can you see this one right here? It's the M. Okay, I got a heart back. Fuck, I already lost this one. I think it's this one. Damn right. Imagine? Damn right. If I see an O come across my screen, I'm doing it. I'm fucked. I don't have the word. <laughs> I don't have this word at all, guys. Imp what? Imp A? Give me a vowel? Can I buy a vowel? Imprint? Is there, is there an R? That's so stupid if it doesn't. I'm about to lose on time, bro. I have a minute left. <laughs> it's been going on for four minutes. I'm gonna be damn, but there's no way I can figure this word out. <laughs> Implant! I didn't lose, though. Bro, give me a T, please. This is the one time I need a dumbass fucking light. Thank you! Oh my god, I I see it now! I don't see it now. It took me four minutes to figure it out. A little less than four minutes, like three minutes, thirty seconds, maybe. Yes, that's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us read. Literally import anything. every everything erase that it all would have worked. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting memories? 
I just want to hate Hangman's Gambit because like that answer is obvious. I shouldn't have to use Hangman's Gambit to figure that out. All right. Yes, the memories you could select for the flashback lights. I know everyone right now. Real memories. I know everyone right now. If it's so obvious, how couldn't you figure it out? Because there's like four different words I can go with. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. I get seesaw first try. I can't get imp I can't get implant. Once we're exposed Jeez, to kind of hard, though. Light, those memories become the truth to us. The truth shall set you free. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies. Exactly. Lies? I'm about to lose on I'm gonna lose on the next fucking non-stop debate. Oh, what a horrible if he gives me like four bullets. The memories from the flashback lights are lies! Everything was a lie. No Kokoichi. Suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. It's this dude right here. Well, that is what it means. Hey, you go. Huh? Fake ass Tsukumi. Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. Titties? That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. This whole ass game is a lie. The memories from the flashback lights. We're just lies. lies. We're in a simulation. Like, why should I say that? It's just as Shuichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. <laughs> now you, now you're just pulling shit out your ass. That light is being directed <clears throat> into the brain. Causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. Water time. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused. Yup. For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy. She can go to Junko. Not real. Hey. <laughs> Told you. You guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. I didn't think so. None of us were ever <clears throat> students there. It was just a fake memory. <laughs> they, they wouldn't accept us. Not students from Hope's Peak? No, nope, we were just nobodies. Yep, That's what we were. That was all fake. We were just nobodies. Looking back, it was a mistake. <laughs> have you remember Hope's Peak? <laughs> this is kind of just a funny trial. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but... Whatever. I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst. The worst. So that's why Kokichi had to die. Yep, poor Kokichi. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. You got it. Come back to my room later. Say less. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. Suk me. Just be Junko. Don't be yourself. Be Junko. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. A fake ass lie. That was a Funny lie. Cat ears. He invented himself. That dude has not. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. What you said. <clears throat> anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult leader thing I mentioned? The leader is me. Yeah, we know. That devious looking Sprite Jack the Ripper. He usurped the mastermind's Why'd he go like that? But in doing so, he became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with a lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? Basically. Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... <laughs> controlled by false memories like putty in the mastermind's hand Sukumi not so bad when she's a mastermind but her character is such ass such booty but cheeks Maki wasn't the only one being controlled <laughs> you all were it, it's just like <clears throat> Sukumi is like a mastermind like oh yeah I was controlling all of you like that's how a mastermind should be but it's just like booty cheeks your whole character was just doing nothing <laughs> remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world you all got so depressed. 
You couldn't even focus I, on the killing game. They were watching us with little ass camera bugs. Wait, then to make us recover from that, you Yep! We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students! The symbol of hope! No way. So you all could face despair! You controlled us with that big memory? Yep! Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was there, that's right. motivation. Hot as hell. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. Let her jerk me around. Let her jerk me around just a couple times, please. There's like a dumbass sprite too, again. It? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? I don't know. Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Yup. Was that also a memory you used to control us? Sweet belly get depressed. I was like, fuck, I fell for it. Was it you guys remembered from it again? If you ask me to choose, I'm a At first you ran away from the Gopher Project. Humanity's last hope. A little ass kid. But then you bravely chose to accept your fate. Who's that, Makoto? I dick suck him any day of the week. You took on all Bum ass. Of your friends and family. <laughs> Get them off my screen. That sick ass bitch. Cough into my ear every four and seconds. Now, you remember how you got here. Here, Yoma. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? I suppose. Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. <clears throat> I have to escape. I'll never give up. I won't be defeated by the mastermind. Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. Ew. You decided to face this killing game, right? I hate our model so much. You were controlling our emotions? Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? Exactly. This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. Participants aren't trying their best to live. It's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake. Then what was everything till now? Fake as hell. That memory, and 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 that. She's about to lose her. She's about to have a panic attack. Lose her damn mind. Music make you lose control, head ass. Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? I don't know. I'm lost right now, too. Who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. I still think we're being like broadcasted. So some fake ass cameras. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial, after all. You're supposed to give us a hint like the original game. Then who are you? Exactly. Who are you? Do like fucking Monokuma. Your brains are like sponges. All drippy and leaky like the first game. Give us a hint. I don't know who you are. What's not to understand? I don't know. Who are you? She's not soothing me? Became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. Oh. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will. There has been that tw two different games. But we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, <laughs> so you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? Damn! Come on, Sweetie. I mean, no one else. Here we go. <laughs> no way they just shoehorned Hajime in this fucking game too. I guess everyone's in the game too. I mean, I should have known with the floating TF2 cosmetics behind her. What? It's Hajime Hinata, the worst MC of the group. You know him, don't you? He was in the oh. Walk Island killing him. So it's not the anime one, it's actually the near world program one, okay. No way. That's not what we mean. Watch just go Izu Kabakura. What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. No way. Cosplaying? Cospox! Yeah, this is just cosplay.
Mihiru, I love you, but damn. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on now? I don't know what's going on. But it's not just normal get this dude out of here. I can perfectly replicate the character. Just get him out of here. I don't want to see him. Check it out. Even my voice sounds exactly the same. Yeah, because he's the same voice actor. Is Junko and Oshima also? I'm everyone. Like. Yes, it's my cosplay. <laughs> oh, look at her eyes, dog. <laughs> I can perfectly reproduce a number of characters. And actually become them. So she's technically like not them. She's just that's her cosplay. That's real. This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. Okay, that's, that's a pretty cool talent. I can't lie. That's pretty fucking dope talent. That 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 raises her quite a bit on the tier list. That's pretty dope ultimates. How could she cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy? Who knows? Because Sumugi told us. Yeah, it was a lie. It was a lie. We know. She didn't use her talent. Ah, you remembered. Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> She's going crazy. <laughs> here we go. What does this mean? Why is Makoto here now? <laughs> oh my god. What? What the fuck? If what I said was the truth. Then Hope's Peak Academy was. I'm so lost in this trial now. This trial is so confusing. If Tsukumi can cosplay as, as them, there's only one possibility. It's fictional. It's all fictional? Here we go. Fictional? Dude, we're about to get into like why the game is probably terrible now. Most awful, most tragic event in history. <laughs> Don't. Yes, my man. The biggest, most awful, most tragic. <laughs> no way you bring Biakuma into this. Peak, the future foundation and the remnants of despair do not exist. Yeah, I almost lost too. Because it's all fiction. None of it. This fat bastard off my world. screen. Hulk Buster built bitch. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Dongan Rampa. Three things. One, what was that voice? Dongan Ropa. Was she the one at the end of the credits always? Number two, they just broke the fourth wall. I can kind of see why this trial is getting becoming shit. The writing right now, I'm lost. This is what it is. Dongan Ropa! Just trigger Happy Havoc's theme? Hold up. It is Happy Havocs. Gungun, Ranpa. Don't, <laughs> don't stop! Please don't, please don't do this. What? What are you even talking about? The, the viewers are just. I thought they were real characters. Maybe she could perfectly replicate them. Is the person the same? What? You've never heard of Gungun, Ranpa? We're all characters in it. Of course we are, and the viewer, they're gonna bring me up somehow in this thing. That's right! Me, that nasty pig barf, and everyone else are all fictional. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> the writing's a tank. Hold on. <laughs> then, Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? That's what we've been saying for the past 30 minutes. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. So how do you know about it? What? Suichi, he's distraught. He doesn't know what to think. Isn't that surprising? Can you cosplay Kaido? Yeah. Up till now, you thought fiction was fact. I don't know what to believe. Fiction is just fiction. Duncan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Duncan Rampa story. Was Stop just saying that. <laughs> this whole Duncan Rampa. I mean Duncan Rampa. Say it like that, please. For that this you bitch off my screen. Was, in fact, this fake reality. pretty pretty princess off my damn screen, bro. That's how we put on a cosplay performance for everyone to see. She's better. A cosplay performance of the whole wide dog and robot world. I'm I'm lost in this text. Cosplay of the whole wide world? Why are you barfing? <clears throat> so this was all fake? Everything was made up? Whole time, we thought it was real. How to tank the game? 
Don't show Hajime's ass like that. Ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters. Oh, and your talent is pretty fucking cool. I can't lie. It'd be kind of lame if that was it's... all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. Cosplay the world itself, then, like Dio. So if you want to make me your enemy, you can cosplay like Dio, like the world. What's up, world? Though, can you stop time? Then your enemy is the world of Dongan Rampa itself. Yeah, you're definitely my enemy. The worst character in the entire franchise, without a doubt, next to the V3 anime characters and Tenko. Dongan Rampa itself. Stop saying that. Why do they pronounce what? it like that? Why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? So you, so the viewer enjoys it. They're about to bring me up somehow. Well, duh. It's so you don't play the killing game. I also I hate her too. I'm, I'm about to just start naming every character that comes on my screen if I like. When I AOE, terrible. I hate her. This is the world of Dungan Rumpa, you know. This dude. No shit, we're playing the killing game. No shit. Are we, we're having. <laughs> He's missing the V in his eye, but he has the three. It's not just any killing game. There he is. There's your boy. It's not just any killing game. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. We love Nagito. In other words, it's ultimate real fiction. He doesn't have the V. Oh my god, he even has the V3 in his eyes. I don't even know you can see it. It's so small, but they have it added there. Ultimate real fiction? Yup. But if it's fiction, if everything isn't real. I'm taking it back by what's fucking happening. I don't even know what's happening at this point. Then the world being in ruins is also fiction. Yeah, right? Maki, go kill her, go ahead. The world outside is fine, right? It is. She wrote it like that, like what? That's right. Of course. How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard. Our staff? Alright. Yeah, now, now you just now you're getting silly with this. No need to worry Get this dude off my screen. Now, now they're just getting silly with the writing. The writing just anyway, begins. Back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. They, they're, they're like, my hero didn't get enough screen time and goodbyes put in here. I love her. I'll take it. Hasn't been destroyed. Really? It's not destroyed? Here we go. Here we the interrupt. Go home and <laughs> that ain't happening. Shut up. Uh, um, go on. Why? You and Himiko are good if friends. The world is still intact, then we have homes to return to. I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin headed. Wait, that's me. Monokuma, what's going on? I can't stand uh, Yashiro. Do you really want to know? <laughs> I don't know at this point. <laughs> Forget about the world. It wants nothing to do with you. I do. I want Sweet on my team right the now. Academy are your world now. The outside world is of no concern to you. I wish we should just walking outside the world at this point. The audience certainly agrees with me. Isn't that right, you guys? They're not gonna show like actual people, are they? I love the uh, the debate. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at Suichi! Well, dude, you watching? I feel like I'm participating too. Ugly ass bitches. The old ass grandma. Whose grandma is that? <laughs> Whose grandma plays this game? Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. They did not do her voice at all right. It's been like 10 years though, I can't complain. Watching us, Sweetie's about to just give up. <laughs> Sweetie's like, whatever. I don't know if I want to expose the truth anymore. Just like Get this girl off my screen. This was all arranged because people want to see it. People think she's the best character in the whole franchise. She was alive for one chapter, bro. Not even like Kaede level either. So this was all a show. This whole killing game. Yeah, now now it just gets a little ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone in this whole peaceful world watches this show. Hi, Chucky. World? Listen, I'm gonna enjoy the characters that show up on my screen. This nonsense, it, it, it's pretty bad writing so far. The writing's not that good. The outside world is peace itself. 
There's no despair or wars. Why is she turned on? All the people in this peaceful world are straight up crazy for this killing game. Yeah, I'm crazy if you make a V4 without any of this nonsense in it. <laughs> <laughs> Soccer is my muscle waifu. <laughs> what? Too bad I'm a viewer. I believe in keebs. They're just writing bullshit on your screen. Little dude, you watching? What else can I say? Co the cosplay is incredible. It is. But wait, why would a peaceful world need a game like this? Like this? It's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary. It is so very peaceful, and so it is so very boring. They trashed your character in the third trial. I can't hold you at all, buddy. I love Celeste, but they they. <laughs> They destroyed her character in the third chapter. With so much peace, people have become bored. They need stimulation. Shout out TikTok and YouTube shorts, I suppose. Not really. Fuck them. We created this ultimate real fiction so Danganronpa could fulfill that. <laughs> stop saying. I know that's probably how you pronounce it, but stop saying Danganronpa. It just it doesn't sound like that. It doesn't sound correct. Every person in the outside world watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. That's why that kid was there, really? Everyone <clears throat> loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone. They watch Coyote get hanged. They were like, I'm gonna subscribe now. <laughs> like, what? So it's everyone's killing school semester. Imagine seeing people dying. Like, yeah. I'm a sub. Using Prime. <laughs> like, what? Sub using Amazon Prime. Live Twitch stream. This killing game this fat is the off my stream. Dying Rapa. The long awaited sequel that everyone has been waiting for. I'm clap, clap, clap. I thought the franchise was over. Google it. Google it up, shitlord. <laughs> What's going on? This is the truth of this killing game. Isn't it the ultimate real fiction? I kind of like for crazy sprites. We. We were forced to play some fictional <clears throat> killing game? We're not real? Yep. So I'm not real? Don't worry, Hajime and the five others had to deal with the same thing, you're not being real. You noticed way too late. There's no Dongon Rampa without Mana Is this the V3 intro? It is. I don't give a fuck about the trial of this place. I kinda this trial is funny, it's just what it is. Since I'm here, that means this <clears throat> is Dongon Rampa! Just cause you exist? <laughs> What if they just show me on the screen like Who is that? It's me. Na, na, na. Na, na. What is this? We're on some TV show now? I love the intro of V3 now. Can't you tell? It's the title of the current Duncan Rampa you guys are doing. Make four now. A testament to the unquenchable thirst this blood-soaked world has for Dongan Romp. I miss Gundam. Hey Gundam. The hamsters are there. They fake hamsters. Dongan Romp has gone on so long because the whole world enjoys and supports it. Jir was like it's cool, I guess. They don't really fuck with Jir too much. Yeah, the little wheel. They show all the the the, the things. I love the V3 opening now. Huh? How long has it gone on? Probably, I think, what, 12 years now? Did you forget what season of Duncan Rampa this is? You guys are dumber than ants. I'd slap the dog shot you if you were here. What do you think? I think I'm he's about to go. <laughs> he's about to do something. He's about to go mookie himself. Fuck am I supposed to make of this? You're the main character. We're on season three or four, whatever fuck you season is. <laughs> four, obviously. Oh, he's just talking now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and if that's not enough of a hint, just feast your eyes below my belt. I'm doing just that. What killing him is this? Kill from the logo?
Is there a V anywhere? Oh, V3. I'm stupid. 53. We can't let it in. I, I thought it was 0, 3. I didn't mean it. It means 53. Or it's 5 plus. I think it means 53. That's what it means. I'm so fucking. <laughs> Am I right? I knew it. <laughs> I, I get it now. Okay. I thought it was 0, 3. Where's the 3 at? It's going to be a 3. Can I get a three? There it is. I Technically, I didn't lose. Okay, guys. Technically, I didn't lose. Could this be the fifty-third one? Damn, fifty-three killing games. This is the fifty-third season of V three makes a lot more sense now. What? Donkey 25 was the best. It's really 54. No, 53. Soichi Heart. That's me right there. 53. 53 seasons. V is for the Roman numeral. Like, we know. Starting with the Hope Speak Academy arc in Dongan Rampa 1, 2, if it three. arc. Wait. Well, imagine if they made all these games. They just stopped Birth of Despair. But how many Births of Despair are there going to be? My, my mind is just like, I, I can't even react properly because it's just like, what's going, like... Until it transcended games and anime to become this, the ultimate real fiction. I'm waiting for them to bring me into it. It's like, oh, there's also and someone now, playing as you. We're in the 53rd season of Doggone Rampa! And so Ichi's about to start crying like, please, stop playing as me, Embers. Like, oh, sorry. Just, this is a $40 game. <laughs> I actually, that's actually a pretty good twist, I can't lie. The V means five. Isn't it? Did the letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. But isn't it just rad how it looks like a letter, but it's really a number? It's kind of a good twist, I can't lie. Our title is the 53rd. As this is the 53rd game, we have masterminded. Yeah, that's why 50... Yeah, okay. Makes sense, 53rd Junko. I like how Leon came up talk about numbers. Like, we know it was you. It one, was one. supposed to be a hint. One one uh, what three oh seven? Since this is the fifty third season, one would expect to see a multitude of characters. <laughs> but you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others. They trash. <laughs> I'll give my opinion actually. That's after. why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the fifty third season of Danganronpa. No, you're only limiting to cosplaying as those because as long as it doesn't exist. The 53rd Danganronpa. Stop saying that. <laughs> Stop saying that. Trapped in a fictional Danganronpa inspired world and forced to play the killing game. Please stop saying it. That is what the world desired from you. Sweet Tooth's like, yes, I want to be a part of the game and I want to be known as the ultimate detective. Like, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I can't lie. So, yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is... The player. Like, I'm not the mastermind. Oh, wow, she didn't bring me into it. Did Soichi really, like, see Kyoko? He's, he watched her. He's like, wow. I want to be just like her. <laughs> is that really what happened? That'd be crazy. It's me, I know. Show me on the fucking camera. <laughs> the people of the outside world! I'm the mastermind? You know, the mastermind? Mastermind? I'm more blackened. Don't say that. The people of the outside Not a single black eye up there. You to do this. <laughs> was that Monokuma up there? The there is. There's a guy wearing a Monokuma head. Is the real mastermind? Sweetie's just like, what the fuck's even the truth at this point? The reason I made this world. The reason you guys did the killing game. Imagine if Q was here. This dude be going like, that dude wouldn't know what was real. It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? Why is her voice like that? Now it's kind of creepy. It's not just me. It's everyone involved in this project. Fuck this project. Project? What? You don't know what that is. Is your brain leaking oil or something? 
The ones managing this killing game aren't psychos like the remnants of despair. They're literal managers! Literally! Okay, Booby's voice acted her well. Literally! So I want to hear your best guess. What company is running this show? I know what company's running this show because they're fucking on the title screen. Oh, they're really gonna be. <laughs> this, is, this is getting a little bit silly now. Spike Tune, Hope's Peak. Where's Spike Tune Soft's at? What? What team do I think is running it? How am I? Probably the one named Team Dongan Ropa? I don't know. It connects. I see it. <laughs> I see it. After he's looking like, like. Team Dungan Rampa. Team Dungan Rampa. Spike Chunsaw, bitch. Yeah, the company that makes Dungan Rampa is called Team Dungan Rampa. Stop saying this, please. You guys are behind in your studies. The audience this knew dude. the answer right away. It's in the title credits at the start. Hey, Pecco. You kind of ass. I just put every Peckle fan out there. Here we go. This. No way they play every opening. This is the anime's opening. Get to the anime now. <laughs> I'll play that next. After this. Don't show me anything. There it is. My computer's running around like 4 frames per second. Jockey hides me. We're gonna have... They went... Ooh... Despair beyond hope. Literally, like, I think the funniest thing is they could literally make these games out because they already have the logos. Anniversary, Dying and Ropa. Should have been it. Yeah, V3 was your best game right here, though. Can I see the other? Story is not over. That's why Monokuma fucking interjects himself every fuck ass game, bro. A new cast. Do we really have to, like, oh, I want to apply for this game? Like, what? Just to die? Are we asleep, like, in, in some, like, fuck ass near world program type shit? Well, if they die, they just wake up and they get to watch the rest of the killing game, like, we're, we're, as we were crying our eyes out. About every death in the game. It just feels silly to cry about anything. <laughs> I'm also a part of Team Duncan Ronpa. Yeah, I'm, I figured. Considering you know fucking everything. We make the finest killing entertainment. Everyone enjoys our work oh so much. I do enjoy it. And our newest project is Duncan Ronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Oh, that's why they kept showing those dumbass things. Of our attached to our heads, those cranium the devices. Pounding killing game brought to life by ultimate real fiction. <laughs> this is so stupid. Shut up. Shut up. There you go, Suichi. You created an entire fictional world to make us do this fictional killing game. But you guys wanted it. No matter how many false memories we've been implanted with, we aren't fictional. You sure about that? <laughs> what? What? Let me go home already! 
Exactly. That's impossible. Didn't I tell you that you have no homes to go back to? Bitch, what? I'll oh, find one. Why not? We're all running duplex. We're all going to fucking, I don't know, trap house together, right? Four or five different people in it. You're just like us. You only exist within the world of Duncan Rompa. This dude right here, you can really see the V in three in his eyes now. Just like you? Sadly so. <laughs> Still don't get it? You just need to ask yourselves one question. Do you need to take a shit? Like, yes. Who the hell are you guys? Some character in a fuck ass video game. Who are we? Who are we? Bitch, I'm a real person. I didn't know what I chose. I didn't mean to choose that, but Just sure. You? I chose. I, I think I. <laughs> I hit the scroll wheel by accident on my fucking mouse and it went down. Sure. Yes, that's right. This. You're all fictional too. You still have the worst trial in the entire franchise. Probably all those other games probably did your trial way better too. Just fictional characters created solely for this killing game. I'm a, I. <laughs> I still love this trial. Is kind of funny though. Do about it, I'm afraid. Duncan Rampas, that kind of property. Still think trial two, three is the worst in the entire fucking franchise. What are you saying? Three six is like, I don't know. I I, I can't. We are not fictional. We're living, breathing people. Let's see how it ends, right? Your immaterial existence <clears throat> is a fabrication, independent of your actual flesh and blood. Yep, you're all fictional. You guys out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? Yup. You all didn't look like this when you first came to the Ultimate Academy. Those were your true selves. Now you're all just fictional characters. Really? That's the truth. Fuck the truth. That's the truth in our real identities. <laughs> Ultimates in hiding. We're just normal people. Everyday people with no ultimate talent whatsoever. You know, Nagito hates that. What the fuck? When you guys came to this academy for the first time, you were just boring, everyday high school. Ah, oh, I like that. Okay, I get it now. I get why that to happen now. You were average students with no talent, just like me. Just like you, bitch, you're chock full of every talent in the fucking universe. You literally have every talent. I just didn't fucking explode. But boring everyday characters have no right to be in Danganronpa. Danganronpa. So you were all made more suitable for your new roles. Sexy as hell, too. Who go to over there? Miss you. Everyone remembered thanks to the first flashback light. Don't just start cosplaying as Kaede on here. You were all given personalities, talents, and upbringings to create your characters. Oh my god. Much like that delightful documentary, Making a Murderer. Her and her murder documentaries. It was at that point that the prologue of this story began. Which means your ultimate talents are all just fiction. Our talents as well? <laughs> yep, your talents are a bunch of lies. I mean, they suited you to a certain extent, but mostly in a placebo effect sort of way. Kinda like a form of auto-suggestion. You know, like if you do it, it'll all work out. But it's not just your talents, it's your personalities, <clears throat> families, memories. It's all fiction, created by the flashback light. Anytime a hero is on my screen? Shit. That's all I could say. You really say you're not fictional now? Bro, she looked menacing as a bitch. I can't lie. She looks crazy. Your body is real. Your identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fiction. Sukumi is like I, I her crazy sprites look amazing. I can't lie. You don't fucking like her. You really say none of Maybe. this is fictional now? Oh. Wait a minute. What are you babbling about? Babbling? Our identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fictional? That's... It's not stupid. Isn't this what you all wanted? Get your big... We wanted this? I hate Akana, even though she has big-ass yeah, titties. I don't give a fuck. But 
you guys were all from the outside world. That couple lean. It's not strange at all that you'd want to be part of the show you love. I like how they try to give all the boys Iger spotlight again. No way! Are you saying we wanted to participate in this killing game? Yup. That's not possible! How could we ever- Please, everyone, take a look at this! This is you guys, like, what? It's us. Number 154. My name is- I've always been such a huge fan of Gangan Rampa and- Always wanted to be in one. No fucking way, bro. If I were a contestant, I would want to be an ultimate detective. What is Kokichis? I want to be. I want to be the ultimate supreme leader. Be, be a fuck ass liar. Be the worst. <laughs> uh, Akane Owari, and I want to be the worst character in the entire franchise. I'm Tenko Chabashira, and I want to be a sexist. Like. But, like, what was the idea behind their characters? I know there's been a few in the past, and I've always loved those characters. I knew it. Kyoku Kigiri. So I would want to be one of them. Uh, but I don't have to be a detective. I'll be anything to be part of the show. And I mean that. Anything. I do anything to be part of Gonkan Rampa. I can suck you off. <laughs> I promise, if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. Oh, he did. Oh, now he's ha Why does he look like that? I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders. I promise. Everyone will love it. <laughs> it did the opposite. And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. Yeah, you didn't do any of that. I'm also thinking about <clears throat> the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. Oh my god. Now, now what are we to make of Soichi? Soichi's like, oh shit. What was that? That was you. Wasn't that you, Shuichi? Oh, let's see Maki's. No, it can't be. I'd never say something like... Like... You wouldn't say that now, but this is you before you became who you are now. I've always been a friend of Dangan Raupa. What? Base... Whoa, look at the sprite! When we saw your audition tape, we had a flash of inspiration. How? You know how many people probably applied to this? The weakest ultimate detective ever. Wouldn't it be great to see him grow? They made this dude purposely weak. Oh my god! I mean, he is a—he's a, a top-tier character, so I guess they—they they knew how to write him. I guess I suppose. <clears throat> and that's why we made your character and had you join the gang. Fuck your biker gang, bitch. The rest of you are indifferent. You auditioned and were selected as well. You can definitely hear the like how how over the years their voice kind of changed so they can't exactly pull it off how they used to but it's still like somewhat similar celeste is like a good example of that Auditioned? i still respect the voice yeah hey. you were all so excited when you were selected i believe it was right after you all received your ultimate wardrobe huh what am i wearing Hmm, look good. Now you look more like ultimates. Huh? I skipped half their dialogue. Ultimates, really? So... Memories you've all been waiting for. You guys are ready? Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of a killing game. A killing game? Could it be... You mean we were selected? Alright! We really got picked? Alright! <laughs> Whoa, really? I I'm selected for it too? I don't even remember that. That's a lie. I have no memory of that. Oh, because it didn't quite work out well. You just forgot us all. Because of the flashback yeah. light we used on you. Figured. The people you used to be are gone. You're fictional characters now. Imagine if Kibo never did whatever the fuck Kibo did. Do you finally understand? You are all flesh and blood fictional characters. So what the fuck is Soichi gonna do now? So you got nowhere to return! All that stuff's fiction too! Then my friends and family, my whole life before coming here. How long is this? An hour and what? Fourteen? Damn! I might have to end this and do another episode. All fiction. That's what a backstory is. You can't go back home because there is no such place. Just like how there's no Togami Corporation in the real world. Oh my fucking god! The only place we fictional characters can live is in this fictional world. Only in this world 
Only in Danganronpa. Stop saying that! Only in this world? Why does Maki feel the need to repeat every four lines? Only in this world. Only in this world? Danganronpa. Danganronpa? Uh, I hate Kaido. I hate Kaido. Wait a minute. I don't do that. Like, don't. Stop repeating her lines. Yes! The place you're actually trapped inside is the Danganronpa world! That's why you guys can't leave this place. That's why your only option Ew. is to continue the killing game here. Who's gonna die? They're all fictional characters created to kill each other. It's what the world wants. The key will be eating this up like, ooh, human nature is so interesting. Like, what? That's why there's nowhere to run. All right. Fuck are we gonna do now? What's the point of this? Enough. What are we supposed to do now? I don't want to know anything else. I've had enough. This is the truth you so desperately wanted. Uh, that reaction. You fell into despair. It's times like these, you need to look to your friends for support. Fucking, we're we gonna look to Maki, the one repeating me four words. Suichi looks like he's about to go off himself, or Kibo, the who's probably having a processing error right now. For example, even Kaito's illness was given to him as part of his character. So Maki would get more development. Like what? I was the one who came up with that plotline and gave him that virus. Yeah, your plotline's ass. I was also the one who came up with the plotline for you fell for Kaito. Really? What are you saying? Then what about Tinkle? Was she always defending me because yeah, I wrote it? Because that was her character. It's the same for me too. That's why I have a huge crush on Sonya. A character created to bring excitement to the killing game, much like myself. Yeah, you don't bring anyone excitement. So the killing game swelled with excitement. Even my pants started to swell too. You're making sexual jokes more over here fucking about the We're about to off ourselves. You're telling us this is all a lie? Even my feelings? Nope. Are you saying even those were lies? <laughs> They're just crying. Well, if you're going to call fiction a lie, then yes. As fiction is a lie. Everything in this world has a writing credit. All our words and actions are just a bunch of lies. It is going on for a little too long now, buddy. For example, an unbreakable <clears throat> vow of brotherhood is just a simple plot line. You said it, bro. However, that was a splendid plotline. That plotline was ass between you guys. He died immediately. Even that thing Kaede said that moved Shuichi's heart. What? Oh, he's, oh, he's done. Squeeze out of the game now. So get me out of here. I believe in you. You should definitely believe in yourself. You should, he's out of here now. That was a lie. Because the real Kaede said. We can hear audition tapes. Oh my god! I like to kill the ultimate detective. <laughs> I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. I think it's hilarious how you can see the complete contrast in your character. It's just so mind blowing. And who could forget Kaito's inspiring line? I I can't wait to kill everybody. He's about to say some racist shit too. Oh. Don't forget the impossible is possible. That was a lie! Cause the real Kaito said Show me Kokoichis! Oh what did Kaido say? Oh my god, what did he say? He looked insane. I'm not just gonna be a dunk on Ronpa. I'm gonna kill everybody and win! <laughs> he looks insane! Once I've got fame and fortune, I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. I Means you're gonna be trapped in that game forever. <laughs> Who's that old ass bitch in the back? <laughs> yeah, like 90 year old bitch. And that woman. That woman in the back was like. It was all a lie? <clears throat> How is he supposed to feel now? The reason we're all here right now is because of them. Because of them, I was able to change. That's why I was trying to live for them. But even if that's a lie.
<clears throat> Why did I even survive this long? This is fiction. There is no greater meaning. It is not Hajime's voice. No greater meaning to death. No greater meaning to life. That's his voice. It's all fiction. There's no meaning to be found in any of it. Don't play this sad music now. It's so gross I could just barf. Well, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't believe all this stuff. How about that? You in despair yet? It will be troublesome for us if you don't despair under our rule. What? What? Duncan Rumpa's all about despair! The reason this killing game's so popular, why it's gone on for 53 seasons. That reason is despair. Viewers flock to see your despair. That's why all those people out there look so happy! See? I love that reaction. Ultimate despair, Himiko! <laughs> what? Are you suffering? Me too! What if I told you this is the last season you'd never get? Look at that. You saw that dude up there? That Monokuma! That old ass bitch there. What? Who's that woman? Was she, why was she going like this? Like, gah! My character's about to die. Despair? Is this despair? Is this what the outside world wants? Is this what they want from us? Oh, don't have the energy to yell. Kibo's about to pull everyone together. I know Kibo has not said a word yet. He's been like, Well, yelling for help is useless for fictional characters anyway. Come on, Kibo, step up. Subichi, somebody, it Maki, Himiko. Tsukumi's other part, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> Freddy can't get any worse, right? Knowing that they shouldn't, just to revel in the depravity of it all. Who the fuck is Monokuma then? That Fictional. Depravity is the appeal of death games. It's the appeal of this very killing game. It's the appeal of Dangan Rapa itself. <laughs> they keep saying it like Dangan Rapa. So what are we supposed to do? Exactly. We're not gonna kill each other. Huh? What was that? What are we supposed to do? This is Kaiyeti. What's gonna happen to us? This is Kaiyeti's piano. Huh? What are you guys talking about? Aren't you going to ruin the class trial and end the killing games? Go ahead and stop it if you can. Try and stop a world obsessed with it. There's no way to stop it. It's impossible. Oh, are you giving up already? See, that's not Celeste's voice actor can't do it again. It's all a lie, isn't it? Me, everyone here, everyone who died. Everything's a lie, right? I can't fight for a lie, can I? Hey, Kibo. Oh, what's the matter? Are you in despair? No matter how much you grow, Shuichi, you're still weak after all. Damn, Shuichi, you better step up and destroy this bitch now. Now that you know it's all lies, you've gone back to the <clears throat> weak ultimate detective. <laughs> this pleases us. It is a despair fit for Tungan Rompa. Who's that woman, Mac? Well, that was surprisingly disappointing. But I guess it's okay. We're still on script. Everything's a lie. Everything's meaningless. Everything we've done together, everything we faced, they're changing the MC again. All of our feelings. They only do that when they change MCs though. Pitch black lies. Doesn't matter how many mysteries you solve, the mysteries were all, the mysteries were all fiction in the first place. All scripted. It's all over. It's just a lie anyway. 
Doesn't matter what you do. It's over now. I got the bad end. Fuck was I supposed to do? Is this the end? Please tell me I'm asking you. If I was in trouble, my inner I'm Kibo would always guide me. That guidance is what brought me here. I don't believe that's a mistake. So I will trust it. Please tell me. Tell me what I should do. Please tell me your decision. Do I get a choice? I think you know what happened now. Is that really? Wait. I'm Kibo now, right? I look like Kibo's. My inner voice? That dumbass shit. Is this the end? Please tell me I'm asking you. Am I not supposed to save it? Kibo! <laughs> I knew it. I hear your voices crystal clear. Fuck with the voices. Oh, that dude's about to. Am I really Kibo now? My inner voice is telling me I need to remedy this situation. I, I knew we were gonna switch because when it starts going blackout, they switch the M. There's a third MC? That is why I will not give up. Here we go. We're the <laughs> we're, we're Kibo. I will not give up hope until the very end. <laughs> what? We can't give up. No matter what, hope is always within reach. We must keep our heads high and search for hope, especially in deepest despair. Sweet, she said. I'm passing the torch to you like Coyote passed to me. So long. Hope? That bitch don't know what hope is anymore. Huh? What hope? What hope? You said so yourself. This killing game is the ultimate real fiction. If this is both real and fiction, then logically it can't all be fictional. Even if this world is fiction, even if we're fiction, there must be something we can do. Who is that Hikaru Nakamura? <laughs> I saw them. So there must be a way to break through this. I won't give up hope. Not ever. Jeez, oh, how annoying. No, you want this. What? This is what she wanted. The outside world doesn't just want despair. It wants hope too. If our voices have reached the outside world, then what my inner voice is telling me is. Oh, your inner voice? That's the voice of the outside world. So that little, that's why that little antenna, that little antenna that sticks out, that was like, oh, that's the outside world. Can I save? I'm, I can save? Does it let me? I gotta end it here. The last episode will be dedicated to whatever... Kibo's Kibo's gonna do something, hopefully. <laughs>
I pray Kibo makes Soichi realize that Soichi puts on that cap and it's like, all right, Kibo, step aside. I got this again. Like, come on. Soichi's character, phenomenal so far.